in this particular series, we are going to look at how to carry out continuity text. Okay, so continuity text, as the name implies, seeks to find out if all the wires that you have drawn from the origin to the particular accessory is continuous throughout its length of run and that there is no break in any cable in the wiring. So basically that is what continuity test seeks to find. For instance, if we take this particular wire, we want to know that from the consumer unit at the point that it is connected to this very point that it is terminated, there is no break at any part of that cable and that the cable is continuous to be able to convey electric current to the intended terminal. Okay, so um, we are going to start with the sockets. So we want to check if all the wires that are used for wiring the sockets are all continuous and that there is no break in any of them. So there is a very simple way to do that. And so let's observe the simplest way to do continuity test on electrical wire. All right, so for me to know whether all the cables are continuous, first of all, I'm going to bridge the live and then the neutral. And then at each circuit, I will test for continuity between live and neutral. And if all the live conductors are continuous and all the neutral conductors are continuous in the wiring, there should be continuity when I test in every circuit between the live and the neutral. In case there is no continuity, then I will now have to come and then check only the neutral lines and then only the live wires to make sure that I locate where the break is. Okay, so for now, I'll remove this live connection here and then connect it to the neutral bar. Please, if this is your first time, you would have to um, go back to watch from the beginning so that you understand where we are now and why we are doing all these things that we are doing. Okay, so here, this is the live to all the circuits and this is the neutral to all the circuits. So what I have done is that simply I have reached the live and then the neutral. And so I expect that if all the neutral conductors are continuous and all the live conductors are also continuous, then I should be able to get continuity when I check between live and neutral in each of the circuits. All right, so now we'll move down to the individual circuits and check for continuity between live and neutral. All right, so if there is continuity, I expect to hear this sound. And then, to be sure of very low resistivity, possibly the meter should read zero, zero, zero. Okay, so first socket. Neutral. And then live. So this simply means that there is no break in any part of both the live and the neutral wires that connect to this socket. Okay, so let's move to the next socket. So this is the next circuit, and then this is neutral, and this is live. Okay, so we have the same good result here. Then we move to the next circuit, and then same way, this is neutral, and then this is live. Okay, so it simply means that for the socket wiring, all the neutral wires are continuous and all the live wires are continuous. To also be sure that there is no direct connection between the live and the neutral at any part of the wiring, I will, have, I will remove the bridge and then come again and test between 
live and neutral to be sure that there is no direct connection between these two cables. All right, so now I'll remove this connection from here and then repeat the same test. But now, instead of continuity, I am expecting very high resistance. And so I don't expect a beep if everything is correct because a beep will mean that there is a direct connection between live and neutral wires in a part of the wiring. And that is not what I want. So as we did before, this is neutral. And then this is live. Okay. So as you can see, there is no reading. There is no beep. It means there is a very high resistance between the two, which is very okay. There shouldn't be any closeness between live and neutral in the wiring. And then we move to the same. This is neutral and this is live. Okay, correct. Here also, this is neutral and then this is live. Okay, so everything is correct just as it is supposed to be. Okay, then the next check I'm going to do is to check for the continuity of the circuit protective conductors in the wiring. And that is to make sure that all the circuit protective conductors from the main switch are all continuous and that there is no break in any part of the circuit protective conductor in the wiring. Okay, so just as I did before, again, I'll connect the live connection at the consumer unit to the earth terminal block. And then I will come again, and now it's going to be between live and earth. If I bridge between live and earth in the consumer unit, and then I check from the individual circuits and I get continuity, what it simply means is that the circuit protective conductors also are all continuous without any break. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so this time I connect live to air. Okay. All right, so this time same setting on the meter. And then now the check is going to be between earth and then live. Correct. So everything here shows that the earth wire is also continuous, just as the live and the neutral. And then we move to the next circuit. Then check between earth. This is earth. And then this is live. Okay, this is also continuous. And then we come to the last socket. So we do add. And then we do live. Okay, so you realize that both live, neutral, and circuit protective conductors are all continuous without any break. And that is for our power circuit. Okay, this same way, we will continue to do polarity test. Now, polarity test ensures that the live wire is connected to the terminal marked L, that is L for live. And then we also ensure that the neutral wire is connected to the terminal marked N. As you can see, there is an N marking here. So we are sure. And then this is it. So polarity test is to ensure that all the live wires are connected to the terminal marked L, all neutral connections are connected to the terminal marked N, and then all earth connections are connected to the terminal marked either E or with the earth symbol. Okay. For bigger installations, especially in installations where you are not the only one who did everything, but you were helped by others to do the work, it is very necessary to check using the continuity method to ensure that all the circuit breakers are only connected in the phase 
wires and not otherwise. But for smaller installations, you can easily do that by inspecting and then checking whether all the 1.5 cables that are colored red are all connected to breakers and not to the neutral bar. And then all 1.5 cables that are colored black are connected to the neutral bar and not to any breaker in the consumer unit. All right, so this brings us to the end of continuity test and then polarity test. In the next video, before we commission this wiring, we'll be looking at how to carry out insulation resistance test. Insulation resistance test is a very important test that must be carried out before the wiring is energized. So I recommend that you stay connected. And in case you are new to this channel, do well to subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next video. And if this video has been helpful to you, do well to share with other friends who may also benefit from it. Thank you very much again for watching. See you in the next video.